Good, you're just in time. A woman in Stroma needs your help. Unless this brings me closer to taking down Persephone, I'm not interested. Haven't I made it clear we share that goal? Helping the woman will breach Persephone's power. What's special about her? She's an orator who'd be willing to join Adonis's rebellion. That man has beautiful lips. But a silver tongue like hers is necessary to inspire the public. Then it sounds like we need her. I'll come back when I'm done. There she is. Elysium is a paradise crafted by her majesty, Persephone herself. No human should seek to leave it. For in Elysium, we want for nothing. Who are you? Who sent you? I'm an ally to Adonis. Don't speak of the rebellion so loudly. Persephone has ears everywhere. Just tell me what you need me to do. Free the villagers being held captive in Persephone's broken daydream. My son, Theron, is working there as a guard against his will. It's like Persephone possessed his mind. Can you help him too? I'll see what I can do. Stay hidden if I don't want to fight. Flames of Hypnos are dying. I release you from their control.
You're released from the grasp of Ibnos. Elysium awaits you. You're back. Where is my Theron? I freed him of Persephone's influence. He's joined Adonis' rebellion. Wonderful news! I didn't know there was a cure. What of the other villagers? They've made their way safely to Iapetos' ruins already. You'll find them there. As promised, I'll join the rebels. What message would you like me to spread once I'm there? And the fear-mongering against the Kati. Make sure the other humans know she is their ally. Your words shall be spoken. Thank you for your help. The Silver Tongue is on her way to help the rebellion. She'll bring in plenty of recruits. Adonis will be pleased. Relieving Persephone of her power is what's important. Don't concern yourself with that man's feelings. Or your feelings for him. Adonis is a friend. Nothing more. Make sure it stays that way. What's it to you? Divine love affairs never end well for the humans involved. Stay out of them, and stay focused on the task at hand. Now, a young woman is suffering from a terrible affliction. She's agreed to help the rebellion if we provide a cure. However, Persephone long ago outlawed the water that can relieve this woman and destroy the last of it. Let me guess. Or so she thought. There are rumors that someone hid a final vial of it in a cave off of Hypnosis Path. Retrieve it and bring it to her. Why would Persephone outlaw this water? Her need for control has grown beyond understanding. What matters is that the humans of Elysium get the help they desire. What is this woman's sickness? The worst affliction that could befall a human in Elysium. A broken heart for eternity. She's lovesick. You know nothing of grief after death. It haunts humans with an intensity unparalleled on Earth. I'll return when I've delivered the water. Remember, it's forbidden. You can't be seen when you bring it to the villa in Adonis's gardens. Stay out of sight.
You entered the cave. You must have found what was left of Lithi's water. I did. Oh, I... Oh, have mercy and let me have just a sip. I lost my wife in Tartaros and her screams still haunt me in my dreams. Please, put them to rest. Well, I guess it can't hurt. But just a sip. Someone else needs this. like the place.
You're the contact Ikati described. Do you have Lithia's water? I do, but what's so special about it? I saw a man lose himself after just one sip. Humans here drink Lithia's water to forget their past lives and reincarnate back into the world of the living. But Persephone won't let any of us leave Elysium so long as she's trapped here too. I lost my soulmate. I can't go back in time, but I can forget that pain. Now, give me the water. No, after what I've seen, no one should drink this. You fool! Now I'm doomed to live my life without my poor Theron for eternity! That was my last hope! Theron? The Silver Tongue's son? I cleansed him of Persephone's possession. He's in Iepetos' ruins. What? How? I... If what you're saying is true, I must see him right away. Oh, my sweet Theron! did nothing close to what I asked you. And what did you ask Cassandra to do for you? Persephone. Rumor has it Lethe's water has once again entered circulation in Elysium. Don't you dare try to talk your way out of this. You are the only person who knows what Lethe's water means to me. I'm sorry. It's hard for a human to understand the consequences of drinking from Lethe's river. You succeeded where I failed. Persephone, I, I was only trying to... I'll be watching you more closely from now on, friend. This wasn't about helping Adonis at all. You knew that woman would be no use to the rebellion after drinking the water. The woman did promise her help. That wasn't a lie. As for my motives, I've told you from the start they are mine alone to know. But if humans so desperately desire to move on from their pasts, Persephone shouldn't make that choice for them. If humans want to drink from Lithi's river, it's a choice they can make for themselves. With or without Persephone's permission. I wasn't asking for your opinion on the matter. I need some time alone. Away from your mindless chatter. You have your alone time. Tell me what's next. You're keeping up. Good. There's one more place we must weaken Persephone before our time together draws to a close. Her most devoted followers are gathering in a villa near Persephone's embrace. These are the most vile humans in Elysium that serve her every whim and dark desire. Are they under her possession? You might say they're more obsessed than possessed. But if you're thinking you can save these humans, you're sorely mistaken. Persephone's hold on them is too strong. Until now, you've been helping humans, not hurting them. I'm helping people who help us, and hurting people who stand in our way. Try to stay with me, won't you? So, what do you have in mind for Persephone's followers? Poison in their wine should do the trick. Unfortunately, the wolf nearby ate the last of my aconite. You'll need to hunt it and extract the poison from its liver. This symposium shouldn't be too difficult to infiltrate. But once you're there, try to blend in with the other Persephone-obsessed humans. I'll find the poison and infiltrate the symposium. Don't worry. There'll be plenty of time to leave once the humans start drinking. Good luck. Here it is.
extra careful in this area. that. A fresh face. Is this your first time at a devoted follower symposium? Uh, yes. Don't look so nervous, friend. Why don't you go meet some people and then we will toast to our new arrivals? Oh. If you're at a loss for words, let other members know whether you think Adonis or Hermes is Persephone's soulmate. We debate that for hours here. Tell me, stranger, who do you think Persephone's soulmate is? The god or the human? Hermes! He clearly adores Persephone. Thank the gods! Someone here with some sense. Hermes doesn't get his due. He would follow Persephone to the end of the underworld. Praise Persephone, friend. Who spies and kills for Persephone? Is it your group? What? No. Persephone would never want that. I think you're in the wrong place. I should go meet more people. Persephone sent Adonis the most beautiful boat after he destroyed it another trying to escape <laughs> Enjoying the symposium. So what do Persephone's devoted followers do? For fun? Oh, we discuss the latest events in Persephone's life, plan symposiums, organize monuments in Persephone's honor. I should be going. an argument, friend. We just got word that Persephone is expanding her palace. Should she build into the east or west of Elysium? Only the best for Persephone, so... east. What? No! There's nothing for her to see in the east. What's she going to stare at? A Katis hovel? <laughs> that makes no sense! Having a good time. How exclusive is this group? Not at all. We welcome new faces with open arms. Anyone who's willing to discuss Persephone all day long can join. Enjoy the party. I know they're old rumors, but what do you think of the whispers that Ivkate seeks to steal Persephone's throne for herself? Anyone who can't see that Ivkate is trying to rule Elysium herself is blind. Persephone? Blind? How can you say such a thing? She has molded Elysium into paradise! She's a visionary! 
I'm ready for the toast. You know, everyone is saying what a great conversationalist you are. So knowledgeable about Persephone. You'll be a perfect fit here. These people really don't seem as corrupt as Ekati made them out to be. Everyone gather to toast our new members. To Persephone. To Persephone. <laughs> what? Ekati said it would take time to sink in. I'd better get out of here before. I Welcome to the Uprising. These ruins were abandoned when Persephone constructed her paradise. We won't be bothered here. But there are so few of you. Well, thanks to you, I now have a warhorse. An invincible warhorse. Or so I'm told. I'm not sure how much help one horse is going to be. Most of Persephone's army consists of mind-controlled humans. Free their minds and bring them to me. We can use them as troops. Free their minds? My dear friend Hermes is a master manipulator. And that staff of yours looks like one of his creations. Try using that. There's an outpost southwest from here, nestled in the hand of Hades. Warriors were spotted in its paw. You've been asleep too long. Wake! And be free! from Persephone's grip!
You surprise me. When we first met, I was positive you were sent by Persephone to... To what? Seduce me. Confuse me. Anything to make me forget my love. But when I asked you to weaken Persephone's influence, you did. I asked you to bring me warriors, and here they are. And all I had to do was risk my life for you to trust me. No one in Elysium is who they say. So when a clever warrior shows up to help me escape, you'll have to excuse me if I'm skeptical. <clears throat> Time to find more warriors. Scout spotted one nearby. Was a Spartan hero in his former life. He's not under Persephone's influence, but keeps mostly to himself. With a champion like him on our side, we can't fail. How will I know when I find him? From what I'm told, you can't miss him. You have the eyes of my daughter. So something did survive that day. How do you have this? Mirini. She's my mother. I'm here because I need your help. I need you to fight. I have found peace here. Why would I fight? All my life, I was told of my grandfather. The king who spat in the face of the gods and ran his spear through anyone who threatened the freedom of his people. Now I'm the one fighting for freedom, and I'm asking my grandfather for help. We'll need to use the terrain to our advantage. So you'll fight with us? Not until you fight me. You say you're Marini's daughter. I want to see how she trained you. I could have used you at Thermopylae. You could have used a lot of people at Thermopylae. I am glad this spear is in your hands. I will fight with you. You have my word as a Spartan. Thank you, Grandfather. <laughs> 